mobilization or manipulation techniques to the thoracic spine are frequently uh, illustrated in the literature in this manner, where the patient puts their fingers interlocked behind their neck, the therapist rolls the head up to hold the neck in quite significant flexion, which in some patients is going to be difficult. And then lastly, the arm is taken around to the thorax, and the elbows end up in the therapist's chest in order to do the technique. A couple of things are wrong with that. As I said, sometimes that's too much stress on the neck. If you have a short arm, it's difficult to reach around under you know, an average sized patient. And also, the patient's elbows in the chest is too much physical contact for a female practitioner, as well as uncomfortable on the ribs. A variation of this is to use the hand on the elbows to use that as your pivot point. I'm going to be rolling him, so bending this knee up assists in the log roll of the patient towards you. I'm also going to use a wedge to bring the table up to me so I don't have to be all over the top of the patient. So this modified technique will look like this. Again, the patient and I have had a discussion on what we're going to do, and he's agreed to the technique. Put some pressure here, and we're just going to roll. That's your stiff segment. I'm just going to put my hand here. I'm comfortable there. Okay. So at this position, with just a quarter roll back, I'm wedged onto the towel. I have good firm contact to the segment. I can fine tune the segment so that it is at its barrier. Picking in any problems, breathe out for me. 